Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome, my name is Carissa. If you guys are new here, I do post tons of haul videos, lots of Lululemon and Amazon videos pretty regularly, but also a ton of styling content and daily vlogs too. So I really hope that you guys stick around and join the family. Today's video, as you can see, is an Amazon fashion haul. Anything and everything that you're gonna need for summer is mentioned in this video. Lots and lots of swimwear and really great designer dupes too. I made sure that everything I ordered offered to Amazon Prime so that it can get to you quickly just in case you have any trips or vacations coming up but also offered free returns because honestly for me when it comes to swimwear I have to go through a few before I find one that actually works for me so love those free returns but Honestly, everything that I mentioned in this video, I am so beyond obsessed with. All the swimwear in particular, oh, I am dying over. So if you guys enjoy this haul, please make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna start with clothing and more specifically, I'm gonna start with a few items that I was seeing all over Instagram. Instagram made me buy these pieces, so that's where we're gonna start. The first is this corset type top. I've been wanting to get just like fancier tops for the summertime. And what I love about this one is that I thought that it was gonna be like super stiff and not as soft, but this tool material is very soft and it's like really flexible too. And it does provide a little bit of stretch. So if you feel like you are between sizes, I would actually just recommend sizing down because there is some stretch in it. It's not as structured as it made me believe it was. The inside is just like a soft, like cotton type of material. It does have like a sticky thing right here to help it stay in place. That doesn't really do anything for me because this part doesn't touch the top. It actually like sticks out a little bit. It has a full zipper in the back. So I'm honestly super impressed with this. I got in a size zero to two. It's slightly big on me. That's why I also say to size down. And it was under 30 bucks at being $29.99. This dress is nearly impossible to hold up so that you can see what it actually looks like, but it is a long maxi dress that has like this cutout in the front with like a very open back. Kind of gives me like JLo vibes. It's a super sexy dress, great for vacation, a fancy dinner out or going to a club. I don't know. I feel like it's very versatile with where you want to wear it. I actually tried this on and shared it in my Instagram stories. I was fairly impressed by it because I thought that this was going to be a total no for me. First of all, it didn't offer a size extra small and with it being a size small, I just didn't think that it would fit me, but it surprisingly fits. It is like a little long, but it's honestly a length that's not annoying for me, but I'll mention it just in case you're the same height as me. It's very form fitting and surprisingly as well, it is not see-through. I was expecting it to be see-through and also for my petite frame, I just wasn't expecting Justine this open lower back to like fit correctly as well, but it actually does. So good news for those that are petite or a similar size to me that wanted to try this dress, you absolutely could. It is so much fun. It is not that forgiving like in the stomach area, unfortunately, but maybe if you get it in black, it will help to like blend in a little bit if that was an area of concern or if you really cared about it. This dress was $20.99, so $21. So definitely worth checking out and at least seeing how it fits on you. So another item I picked up is this workout set. If you guys are new, I do post tons of Amazon activewear videos. I think I have at least four in my series currently. I'll make sure I'm linking the playlist down below if you guys haven't checked them out. But if you are looking for activewear pieces, go watch those videos. I share at least a hundred pieces by now collectively throughout those videos. I think that you guys would really enjoy that. But I found this piece and I was pretty excited about it. I I love matching sets and I was on the hunt for more that I can wear in the summertime that had some sort of shorts combo. So starting with the top, I think that the top fits really, really well for being a size small. I do like that it has removable padding in it. The padding in it is kind of thick, so you can always remove it, but I like that the option is there. The waistband is pretty good and I love like the thick straps on top too. For the bottoms in particular, this is where I wish that they offered a size extra small is because they are like a little bit big at the top of the waist. This is a typical problem that I see with a lot of like this seamless type of collections is that this top part just doesn't taper in enough to not have like a gap in the back. But otherwise I love like this rib material and how stretchy it is. And with it being a seamless collection, it is really soft as well. This is a set that I would probably wear more casually, not necessarily working out just because of the bottoms and I would need like a little bit more support, but such a super, super cute set. Sticking with sets here for a second, I did get like this waffle PJ set. I am 
so beyond obsessed with this. First of all, I'm so glad that it fit. It's very rare that Amazon offers extra small. A small is the smallest size, and this is a size small, so I was nervous that it wasn't going to fit, but surprisingly it does, and with it being PJs, it's fine if it's like a little bit oversized as well. This color is beige, but it does have like some pink undertones to it, so I kind of wish that it was a little bit more neutral. That's just me being picky, but I do love this altogether. This waffle material is so soft, and this surprisingly has a little bit of weight to it, which I really love like because I was nervous it was going to be lightweight and super thin and it's not at all. First of all with the shorts I feel like it's a really good length. You don't even have to wear the top with this. You can obviously just wear it on its own. The shorts do have pockets and a drawstring too. For this top, they do have two different options. One that's a short sleeve, which is this one, but they also have a long sleeve option. So that one is really good starting to go like more into fall too. I love how this shirt sits on my body. It just kind of has like an effortless oversized feel to it. It's $35, $34.99 and they have tons of specials on these. I think I purchased this for $25. So definitely look out for those like lightning deals. The next top is another like active wear type of top. Funny enough, I actually shared this exact one in a different color in one of my Amazon active wear videos. So this might look familiar to some of you, but I really wanted just like a classic black color. This is one of like my favorite Amazon finds. The cut of it is honestly just impeccable. It's so comfy to wear for working out or for casual wear too. It has a built-in bra with removable padding. It's a racer back back, has a nice cropped length and the scoop neck is just wonderful too. Next up is just a really great basic that is a halter style type of crop tank top. I got it in the color apricot and it was $14.99. You guys know my obsession with these beige neutral tones, but these types of tank tops are so great for just throwing on to go to the beach, worn casually, or I think you can dress this up to go out at night as well. But these honestly are just timeless in your closet and can be paired with absolutely everything for any occasion. This next item I am so beyond obsessed with. I'm so excited that I found this on Amazon. You guys know I am totally obsessed with the shirt jacket type of trends. And you guys see me wear my corduroy one all the time. I got that one from Urban Outfitters and you guys always ask me where it's from and it's just been sold out for so long. And so if you were one that was wanting to get your hands on the Urban Outfitters corduroy jackets, this is the perfect dupe for you guys. This is the exact same fit of it just being like oversized and like effortless. This corduroy is such a good fabric too. I feel like it's really high quality. I love just like the buttons on it too. I got this in a size small and this is the beige color, but I also wanted to pick it up in black. So that way I have one color of each depending on what type of outfit I wanted to style it with. One main difference of this one to the Urban Outfitters one and why I even wanted to talk about this and include it in this video for summer is that this one is a lot more lightweight. So this is the perfect option for summer, especially summer nights if you just wanted a little something to carry with you and throw on. This would be absolutely perfect. I know here in Seattle, this is something that I would wear all the time in the summertime, but also when I was in Hawaii, I brought my corduroy shirt jacket and wore that a lot too in the nighttime. It has a cute front pocket on it and then the sides do taper up and the sleeves do have a button so you can like roll it up too. So overall, super excited about this find and I highly recommend that you guys go check these out. So still sticking within clothes, but moving our way to the swimwear now, I do have two cover-ups that I wanted to share with you. They are the same, but in different colors. I brought these with me to Hawaii and I love, love, love these. These are under $10 from Amazon and it's just like the perfect sarong cover-up. So it just ties at your waist and I love the length of this. It's not too short, but it's not too long either. Really great for petites. This does come in a one size, but it does say that it could fit someone from a size small up to a three extra large. I am typically a size extra small and this fits me so freaking well. This is obviously in black and then this one is a dark khaki color. Really great neutral that's a little bit more on the cool tone side. Extremely lightweight, good quality too. I always just love to bring these with me to the beach just in case I want to walk around the beach but don't want to put like my full cover up back on and I just wanted something else to throw on instead or if I need something to like cover up my face if I'm at tanning or something. So really good versatile pieces for sure. So jumping into swimwear, I did find nine or 10 swimsuits that I am so obsessed with. I will mention that I think I bought 
upwards of at least 20 swimsuits total so half of them ended up working out for me whether that was due to like sizing or like the quality of the swimsuit so just wanted to mention that a swimsuit is so challenging that it just might take you a couple to find one that actually fits you really well so diving into the swimwear that did work out for me that i love so i'm gonna start with one like fabric first because i love 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 this fabric so in three different styles and i will break out each style individually as well but this fabric is so amazing it is like this ribbed material that is buttery soft it kind of reminds me of monday swimwear a little bit and what's so funny is that this material across these three is from three different brands too but all of the bottoms across these three are the same it has the exact same cut on them that is pretty high cut and it is pretty cheeky as well i like a cheeky bottom i'm not one that's for like full-on brazilian or thong or full coverage either. I kind of like something right there in the middle. So this first one, I'm obsessed with the color. Who knew that I would venture out and get some color, but that's something I wanted to challenge myself with. So it comes in this gorgeous, they call it light purple, but it's like a lavender type of color. It's almost like a bandeau style of top that has like some cinching at the top and then it has like a little peekaboo through the center. You could probably finagle this one to go strapless. It does have padding in it, but with all these, I just opted to remove the padding from it. This set is in a size small and it fits me really, really well. I ordered a size small and all of the swimwear so I figured I would just mention that really quickly now but of course everything is going to be listed down in the description this black one is so much fun too it is a smocked bandeau strapless type of top it has two strings that hold it up on the top and the bottom it has padding in it but it is not removable I kind of wish that it was but this fabric pieces does move and adjust to cover more or less of your boobs. And I love that it just has like this little peekaboo moment in the front of it too for this light green sage one. I want them to make this exact color in like every single style. I love, love, love this color. This is my first time trying out one of these swimwears that have like the underwire bra that like scoops up in the center. I feel like I managed to get my boobs into it and make it so it doesn't look too much like I'm falling out. However, I would probably recommend this swimsuit for those that have smaller cup sizes than me, or even maybe like this underwired bra would probably sit flush and better if I didn't have breast implants. Not really sure, but so obsessed with this color. So next up, I did get a style that had a scoop neck. This sort of swimsuits are hands down one of my favorite. I like ones that are just kind of like full coverage on the top versus say like triangle type of swim tops. This one has like a very like slinky type of material, super soft, has padding in it that is removable too. The bottom of these are pretty cheeky on them and they're less high rise than the ribbed ones that I just shared, but I feel like this one still looks pretty good on all around. This one is super comfortable to wear and it does feel like it would be really breathable too and the best part is is that this was $26.99 next up is this like one piece bathing suit this was oof one of my favorite one piece bathing suits I got it was the only one that I ended up keeping and I am so obsessed with the fit of this one I love that the straps the spaghetti straps on top are adjustable and that this back part cinches in as tight or as loose as you would want to go it has a very long string that you can like tie up but I love like the pieces that connect on the side and then the bottoms of these, you guys, they're high-waisted. It has good coverage in the back. This is a swimsuit that has like a sleeky type of material. But overall, I'm so impressed with the fit of this and how it looks on. This one has a lots of good reviews on Amazon too and comes in tons and tons of colors. And it was $26.99, which I'm just, I'm blown away by the prices of these swimsuits. This next swimsuit was another one of my absolute favorites that I picked up. I don't have a swimsuit this color and it's just like a red, brown sepia type of color that looks so gorgeous on especially if you have a tan i've noticed thank you hawaii for giving me my base this one has a ribbed material but it is not the same material as those first three that i shared with you these bottoms have a really nice cut to it it is high rise it is a little bit cheeky in the back but i feel like it has a little bit more coverage than some this top is Oh, hands down, one of my favorite tops. This V-neck, low neck, like scoop type of top with the thick straps, 
so gorgeous. The straps are adjustable, which I really love. And the closing on this too is a string, so it can go as tight or loose as you need it to be. Removable padding in it, and it's just overall really snug fitting, and I feel like really secure in this swimsuit. This one was one that was a little bit more on the expensive side, but it was still $35, so still super affordable. Next swimsuit up is this gorgeous creamy white one. This reminds me of the vitamin A swimwear, if you guys know, but it's really expensive. And this swim set was only $24, so definitely a lot more affordable. This does have removable padding in it. I did remove the padding because it just was a little bit thick, but surprisingly enough with it being white, it is not see-through, which I really like. This swim top is probably better suited for those that have smaller cup sizes than me, but I actually like that I kind of had like some side boob coming out of it. But if you're more modest and want to be a little bit more covered, I probably would have recommend this swimsuit in particular, unless you have smaller cup sizes, then I think that this would be so freaking flattering on you guys. Swim bottoms are really great too. Again, they're high waisted. This overall has like that sleek material again. Cheeky bottom in the back. Just overall a really cute swimsuit. Next swimsuit up is this gorgeous like snake skin print one. I love this one because it's like a brown and black snake skin. I feel like this print is so flattering. It looks so good, which is surprising for me in prints that I was just so drawn to this one. But for some reason it still seemed pretty new neutral and I could pair it with a lot of things. The bottoms on these are exactly like all the others that I've mentioned so far. It is high-waisted again. It has a cheeky back, but I feel like it's a really flattering cut. And then the top of this is another one of those like underwire type of tops. Straps are adjustable. It has removable padding in it. This material, this one is like that sleeky type of material. So it's different than the other one that was like the ribbed soft material one. And for some reason, this one does squish my boobs a little bit. So again, I think just just overall what I'm seeing for like these underwire type of ones that I think that they may be better suited for those that have smaller cup sizes. To each their own, obviously, as you can see, I'm making it work with this one too. But as this comes in a set, if I did size up to a medium, then the bottoms wouldn't fit me either. So a small would be it for me, but this one you guys is so freaking cute. Definitely pick it up. It was only $20. Ah, I cannot believe it. The last swimsuit, this is the most colorful one that I picked up and I am so beyond in love with it. I think for me, I just wish that the bottoms were a little bit different. I like the cut of all the other swim bottoms. So if they offered that in this one, I think I would have been so much more in love than I already am. But with the string bikini, so freaking cute. This one is way more cheekier than the other ones, but the cut of it is really high rise and I still feel like it's really flattering. And obviously the strings are adjustable so you don't have to have it cut in at all at your sides. The material of this is very much like a swimsuit type of material. And as for the top, it's just like very stringy. So it has this like string in the front that can be adjusted to cinch things in a little bit because you can see that the top and bottom of these are cinchable. So you kind of have to like maneuver it a little bit when you first get it on because all the strings are all connected. But the top of this is adjustable and then it ties around the back too. But the color blocking detail on this, out of this world. I love this swimsuit. Next up, we're moving into accessories. I have so many exciting accessories to share with you guys. The first one being this visor. I'm sure that you guys have seen this one all over the place. I love visors for the obvious reason that the top of your head is just exposed. When you're laying in the sun, it gets so hot, so sweaty. So I'd like to have that airflow going. And with this one in particular, I love that it is adjustable. I have a pretty tiny head and this one can adjust all the way where it fits really comfortable and snug. What I also love about this visor is the fact that the brim goes all the way around and it is pretty wide as well. So no matter how you're laying or the angle of the sun, your face will always be covered by the sun. Having my face covered by the sun is just so important to me. I have melasma, so I have to keep my face out of the sun at all times. So I'm always on the hunt for all types of hats that I can wear and just like alternate between. This one is also great for the fact that you can roll it all the way down. It has a little elastic to wrap around. That is really easy for traveling. The quality of it seems really spot on and it was $23. Next up is this little handbag. This one gave me Prada re-edition vibes. These little shoulder bags are so in trend and they're just so easy to throw like a few of your essentials in. 
and just head out the door. This one is so adorable and I think it was like $15. The zipper on this is amazing and honestly it's really roomy to throw all your essentials in there. Another adorable shoulder bag that I got was this one, this little cutie. This one reminds me of Bottega and I am so in love with this like vegan leather. This one was a little bit more expensive at $70, but this vegan leather is buttery soft. The quality of this handbag seems really exceptional. The inside of this is very roomy and it does have like a little pocket in here too and it has a magnetic closure on it as well. The strap is flexible too. I feel like this is one that you would hold in your hand versus being on your shoulder. It's like a little tight. I mean, you can kind of do it, but I feel like this is one that I would wear in the nook of my arm or just like holding by the handle. Speaking of Bottega, I ended up getting these little mule dupes for them. You guys, these were $50 on Amazon. I honestly cannot believe it. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous quality. I got it in khaki, which is honestly just like a beige nude color, very neutral in tones. Love the heel height on this. It's only a couple of inches. It's really comfortable to wear too. And the bottom of it has like some grippy things on it. I have pretty narrow feet, so this really holds me in, but I feel like this would be really good for those that have a little bit wider feet as well, because with the squared toe, it's a little bit wider out here. I got these in a size five. It does run true to size. Next up, I finally caved and got these slides. These are incredible. It kind of feels like a cloud. They're very lightweight. And I was nervous that the top of this would be way too loose where my feet would just be like sliding in and out, but not at all. And it actually has indents right here for your feet to keep them like in. And I love like just the trend of how like wide and like big these are. This I ended up getting in a size four to four and a half women's. I guess I had a size down since I'm normally a size five. The next size up was a size six and that's way too big for me. And these were $22.99, so $23. And I think that these are a necessity for summer. This looks so cute with bike shorts and oversized tee. I did that yesterday and I was so obsessed with that look. <laughs> Last up, I did pick up a couple of sunglasses. The first being these squared aviators it's like a black on black it has black lenses but also a black frame which i am so in love with it has little nose pieces on it too but overall this is like metal and it seems really good quality and this actually fits my small face which is quite impressive very much a challenge for me and then next up i ended up picking up a two pack of these cat eye type of sunglasses. You guys would have seen me wear these black ones all the time, all over Instagram, all over every single one of my videos for at least a year and a half now. These are my staple go-to sunglasses. This one in a two pack ended up coming a size slightly larger. I get the small one that's a 50 millimeter size and these ones are 53. They don't have a two pack in the 50 size one. So figured I would mention that, that I do typically get the smaller of the two. These are the absolute perfect Celine dupe. I have you guys ask me all the time if these are Celine and I'm like, nope, they're on Amazon for like $10. And this two pack is for $17.99, which is a steal as well. I now have four of these sunglasses because I need all the backups in the world. This will forever be my go-to pair. All right, you guys, that is it for the haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys end up trying out any of these items, please comment down below letting me know what items you purchased. I'm really curious to see which items you loved. As always, everything will be linked down in the description, the color, the sizes, my measurements. That information is always down there for you. Before you head out, please make sure that you are subscribed. You're following me over on Instagram and I will see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys. Love you.